And here is a quick sneak peek of what we will be looking at today. Hello, it's Jen Kay here from A Fragrant Art Offering. Welcome, I'm glad you stopped by. It's hard to believe that the month of May is almost over already. June is here. And so today I will be swapping out my May fragrance tray and showing you what I plan to be using in the month of June. I had some favorites here on the top row and a couple of them will be coming back. I'll talk about them later. But one that I really enjoyed was Dior Attic. This is just a creamy vanilla fragrance. I wore it to bed a lot and it did work really well in the spring. The first fragrance that I'm adding to my June fragrance tray is Ter Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain. This is the fragrance I've been wanting to have in my collection. It's hard to find in the US, but I was able to pick it up on eBay at a reasonable price from a reputable seller. So I'm excited to add it to my collection and wear it more this month. It is a tropical floral fragrance. Top notes are terry, flower, coconut, and bergamot. Mid notes are jasmine, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and in the base it has vanilla and musk. On first spray, it did smell a bit like cleaning solution to me with the bergamot and the citrusy top notes, but then it dries down into a powdery coconut. It's very nice, complex, and I'm excited to try it this month. Next up, we have Olympia by Paco Rabanne. This is an amber fragrance that was first introduced in 2015. I've actually had this fragrance in my collection for a little over a year, but I feel like I have so many other amber and vanilla fragrances that I really enjoyed that this one has just kind of got pushed back and I haven't worn it a lot and it is really a beautiful fragrance. Top notes are water jasmine, ginger flower, and green mandarin. In the mid notes, it has vanilla and salt and in the base, it's ambergris, has cashmere wood and sandalwood. This is a beautiful salty vanilla and then with the water jasmine it has a bit of wateriness to it so I think it'll be perfect for summer and I'm excited to wear it. Ocean de Joya by Armani is a floral fruity fragrance that was first introduced in 2020. I picked it up this last winter. I wanted to add to my collection something that was more light for the summertime it has top notes of pear, citruses, and green notes. Mid notes are water jasmine, salt, lily of the valley, and rose. And then the base notes are musk and sandalwood. I haven't really tried this one out too much yet, but it is light, fresh, and a little bit fruity. The last fragrance I have here on the top of this tray is Mavi Pour Femme by Hugo Boss. This is a floral fragrance that was first introduced in 2014. And I really don't hear a lot about this one in the fragrance community. It has a very interesting top note of cactus flower. And this is very bright and tangy, reminds me a bit of grapefruit, has mid notes of pink freesia, rose, and jasmine. And then in the base, it has woody notes and cedar notes. Initially, I had bought it to resell on my Mercari, but I don't think a lot of people know about it, so it didn't gain a lot of traction there. And because I really enjoy this fragrance, I decided to pull it from my Mercari site and put it on my June fragrance tray. So to start out on the middle shelf here, I have another new one to my collection. This one's also by Paco Rabanne, and it is the Fame fragrance. I had a sample of this that I tried last year and I really enjoyed it. Has top notes of mango and bergamot, mid notes of jasmine and olibanum, and base notes of vanilla and sandalwood. I did only get the 30 ml bottle, so this one has the glass detailing and it doesn't have like the extra silver armor on the outside. And then next we have a beautiful fragrance for the summer, which is Sunshine by Amouage. This one was introduced in 2014. I picked it up last year and instantly fell in love with it. It is an amber floral fragrance. It wears surprisingly well in the summer for being as rich as it is. It has almond and black currant in it. And then in the mid notes, there's vanilla, magnolia, and jasmine. And then there's white tobacco in the base with patchouli 
just a beautiful, complex and unique fragrance. And I'm super excited to be wearing it again. Another fragrance that I'm excited to try out in the month of June, it's newer to my collection, is Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. This is an amber fra floral fragrance, and it also has a lot of notes in it, but some that I smell are the neroli, pistachio, pink pepper. Then in the mid notes, it has tuberose and orange blossom, ylang ylang. And in the base, I catch that coconut, vanilla, and tonka bean. It's just beautiful kind of summer gourmand, so I'm excited to have this on my tray and see how it wears in warmer weather. And the last one on this shelf is Versense by Versace. This is a citrusy, woody floral musk fragrance. It is a repeat from last summer. It's citrusy on the top with bergamot and green mandarin, and then in the base it's woody with Virginia cedar, musk, and sandalwood. I do often find myself reaching for light blue instead of this one, so I thought I'd pull this out in the month of June before I get light blue out to give it a chance. So on this bottom row, there's one that's been a favorite for the last several months and that stayed out all spring on my tray, and that's the Gucci Bloom. This is, I know, a very simple and basic fragrance, but it truly is the one that got me started on florals and white florals specifically. I'm going to tuck it away for the summer, but I've really enjoyed wearing this one all spring. All right, then, to start out the bottom row, we have Illicit by Jimmy Choo. This is a floral fragrance that I've had in my collection for a couple years, but I don't always wear it a lot. I decided to pull it out for the the month of June because it has a ginger note in it, which I think is very nice and warmer weather. So it has top notes of ginger, bitter orange, mid notes are jasmine, sandback, orange blossom, and rose. And in the base, it has honey, amber, caramel, sandalwood, vanilla, cashmere wood. It doesn't really stand out to me particular, but whenever um, I wear it, I feel like it's like Kira Knightley and Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, like an adventurous sweet and a little bit tropical. And then I have another Versace fragrance here that I'm putting out this month and this one's new to my collection. It's Crystal Noir, the EDT version. This is a floral fragrance that was introduced in 2004, but it's been getting a lot of love recently in the fragrance community and I had a chance to try it on my skin a couple months ago in the store and I really did like it. So when I saw it at Marshall's, I decided to pick it up. This one also has ginger in the top notes and then it has gardenia orange blossom in the mid notes and sandalwood musk and amber in the base. It's kind of tropical sweet fragrance and I am super excited to give it a try this month. Here's a fascinating story about this next one. It's Mangerlan, the EDT version. If you follow along on my Instagram page, you might have seen a reel where it got lost at sea. So last summer I was video recording this one at the ocean and it got swept away by a big wave, which was super sad because I actually really enjoy this version. It has orris and um, violet in the base. So it's more of a powdery light version of the original and it's much more comfortable to wear in the summertime and even light enough that I'll wear it to work sometimes. So I picked up this second bottle and I'm excited to be wearing it again. And then last up on the bottom shelf, we have Twilly Dermez. This is the O Poverie version. It is a sheeper floral that was first introduced in 2019. It's been in my fragr fragrance collection for a little while now, but I feel like I don't really know it that well. It has top notes of pink pepper, mid notes of rose, and in the base it has patchouli. So I thought I would pull it out and wear it and see if it's something that I want to keep in my collection or if I want to pass it on. Let me know if you've tried this one and what you think of it. And then on this bottom tray, there's one that I've had in my collection for the last couple months that has been a true favorite, and this is the Dolce Garden one. I'm going to retire it now for at least a month or so, but I've really enjoyed wearing this one this spring. It's just tropical, floral, very comforting fragrance. And then on the side tray this month, the first one that I'm putting up is 
I Love Love by Machino. This is in the Cheap and Chick collection. I picked it up this last winter, but haven't really worn it that much yet. It is a floral woody musk that was first introduced in 2004. Has top notes of grapefruit, orange lemon, red currant, mid notes of sugar cane, bull rush, lily of the valley, tea rose, and cinnamon. And then in the base, it has musk, cedar, and tonka wood. I've heard this one compared to light blue, which is a favorite in my collection. So I'm ex super excited at some point to try the two of these on side by side and see how they compare on first sniff. It does remind me a lot of light blue. And here is another one that I am super excited to pull back out. I love wearing this one in the summer. It is by Dolce & Gabbana. It's La Imperatrice, which I believe means the Empress. It is a floral aquatic fragrance, has top notes of kiwi, rhubarb, and pink pepper. And then in the mid notes, it has watermelon and jasmine. And in the base is lemon tree, musk, and sandalwood. This one just always reminds me of summertime with the burst of fruitiness. I think it's a combination of the rhubarb and the watermelon. It just feels like summer on the farm. And so I do have a lot of scent association with this one. So it always makes me happy to pull it out and wear it again. Alrighty, and here at the end we have a couple from last month, which I was not done with yet. This is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is what I would consider a signature fragrance in my collection. In fact, if I only had a few, this would definitely be one of them. It's got the orange notes on the top and then the patchouli and musk in the base. Just a very beautiful fragrance, very sophisticated, and I love wearing it. And the last one that I was not done wearing quite yet is Clean Reserve Skin by Clean Beauty Collective. This is just a beautiful skin scent. I really enjoy wearing this one to work. It's a flory, floral woody musk and it's a bit of a unisex fragrance. It has honeysuckle in the top and orange blossom and then um, fresh musk, white cedar wood in the base, a little praline. It's just soft and sweet and beautiful. Thank you so much for sticking around and joining me today. If you enjoy this type of content, please follow along and hit the like button. I'm also over on Instagram at a.fragrant.offering. I'd love to hear from you in the comments about what fragrances you enjoy wearing this time of the year. So yeah, thank you. I really appreciate the support and I hope you have a great day.